terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. I want you to just get one small glimpse of just one small aspect of Hunter's massive international crimes. Uh, this is from Marjorie Taylor Greene, although Nancy Mace has said the same thing. They went in and read the Star Report. This is a guy who is trafficking, human trafficking, Ukrainian and Russian prostitutes into the country for his family's use and about two dozen other people as well who we don't know. I mean, this is just this is just a wall. This up. They know about this. They have the SAR reports. Heck, members of Congress have seen them. Listen to this. I just saw evidence of human trafficking. Uh, this involved prostitutes, not only from here in the United States, but foreign countries like Russia and Ukraine. Uh, this is this is unbelievable that a president and a former vice president, uh, not only his son, Hunter Biden, but many more family members extending past Hunter Biden and his immediate family. Uh, we're going to have to really get to work. This is an investigation that needs to be revealed to the American people. And not only do we have questions about Hunter Biden himself, but this is going to extend into developing a web of uh corruption, a web of fake companies uh, that's going to reveal money that came in from many foreign countries and went directly into the personal bank accounts of the Biden family, where they have financially benefited directly from Joe Biden's uh, seats of power. And we look forward to investigating and exposing for this, this for the American people, and, um, and we'll see where it goes from there. It is no coincidence that just as James Comer zeroes in on $30 million, he's a Republican investigator, $30 million run through these Biden family LLCs worth of bribes. They're at 10 million right now, right? And promises to disclose that in the coming weeks, $30 million that all of a sudden Hunter gets indicted. Oh, look, but no, we're, we, we got him. No, we got him on the, no, you didn't get him. You didn't anyway, you went and got him on some little, little silly, silly thing. Um, so that you could avoid getting him on this stuff. Uh, text raised, Tara, how do you get into a diversion program for illegal possession of a gun? Another text raised, amazing this evidence trail, but no one is doing anything. Another text raised, diversion for a 50 year old drug addict and human trafficker. I think they want him where they, yeah, where they can easily murder him with a drug overdose to silence him. Well, he ain't going anywhere. He's not going in the jail. No, no, that's no, he's not doing jail time. At this plea deal, he gets probation. Low level charges, Washington Post says. So no, oh no. I y'all, I'm I'm serious. The only person on earth who's a political leader who seems to understand what is going on here and can I can articulate it is Manuel Lopez Obrador of Mexico, the president of Mexico, who said, look, America is not a democracy. Don't let them fool you. It's an oligarchy. Joe Biden is our first oligarch. Yep. Perfect. He knows. The royal son is not going to prison. Okay. I mean, maybe in a Republican administration, should that ever happen again? But uh, no, not going to prison. Are you kidding me? This is window dressing. And so that when our side says, hey, it's unfair, blah, 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 Trump, blah, 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 Trump, blah, 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 blah. They can be like, well, Hunter got indicted too. Yeah, not on the real crimes. Not even close. Listen to this. This is from the Washington Post. The agreement, the sweetheart plea deal agreement, that covers none of the real crimes because we wouldn't want to do that. The agreement caps an investigation that was opened in 2018 during the Trump administration and has generated intense interest and criticism since 2020. Okay, what's important in that sentence? The investigation caps and the agreement caps and investigate. It's over. We thought we've closed it. It's um. Meanwhile, Comer begs them, don't indict, don't indict. I've got more evidence. I've got, and they have, they have the same thing Comer has. Come on. These people use the NSA database for campaign research illegally, I'm add. They know. They know what Hunter did. This is why they're indicting him. On the smallest charge, like, I'm the gun charge. Are you kidding me? Yep, closed. We're done here. 
Got to get that one under the wire before the $30 million worth of bribes, which, by the way, we know he didn't pay taxes on. That's tax evasion. It's felony level tax evasion because we have his tax returns. He had to file them in court in the cases of his baby mama seeking the, seeking the money. The terms of the proposed deal negotiated by Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss, a holdover from President Donald Trump's administration, are likely to face similar scrutiny. You think? Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.